To get the best from this recording, you should be listening with stereo headphones. My voice now should be coming from the left hand side. My voice now should be coming from the right hand side. Make yourself comfy in a place where you can safely relax and follow my instructions. Only those who follow my instructions will be able to go into trance now. Close your eyes. Tense and clench all the muscles in your body so you feel rigid like solid concrete. Now you can let the tension go and relax. Notice how more relaxed you feel. You may also notice a sinking feeling, like you are now. Sinking deeper and deeper now. Imagine your eyes are closing again and look up towards the top of your head. Keep looking towards the top of your head with your eyes closed. While your eyes are closed and looking towards the top of your head, take a few moments to notice your breathing. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Focus your attention on your breathing for a few moments and recognize how easy slow deep breathing alone can induce a nice deeper state of relaxation. Let the body breathe itself according to its own natural rhythm, slowly, easily and deeply. Now take a single breath, a special message that tells the body you are ready to enter a state of deeper relaxation twice as deep as you already are and breathe out and breathe in deeply through your nose and out through your mouth remember your breathing slowly and deeply and as you concentrate your attention on your breathing listen to my voice in a few moments I want you to start counting backwards from 100 with each in breath and with each out breath say to yourself right. deeper and deeper start counting now 100 deeper. that's right and deeper as you listen to my voice and keep counting deeper. my voice will guide you even deeper. deeper into a state of deep relaxation if you forget to count or lose your place and drift off. 97. Start counting again. So long as that you keep counting, that's fine. It does not matter if you forget. You need not remember. 95. Your subconscious mind remembers everything that you need to know. And you can let your subconscious mind listen and remember. While your conscious mind sleeps and forgets. You are aware, and yet you are not aware you are listening with your subconscious mind, while your conscious mind is far away and not listening. Your subconscious mind is awake and listening, hearing everything I say while your conscious mind sleeps. You can sleep now as your subconscious mind is active, and when this happens now, your subconscious mind knows, and because your subconscious mind knows, your conscious mind does not need to know and can stay asleep and not mind, while your subconscious mind listens to my voice. Your subconscious mind has many resources which you don't have in your conscious mind. You can remember everything that has happened with your subconscious mind but you cannot remember everything with your conscious mind. You can forget so easily and drift off. And with forgetting certain things, you can remember other things. 
remembering what you need to remember and forgetting what you can forget. It does not matter if you forget, you need not remember. Your subconscious mind remembers everything that you need to know. And you can let your subconscious mind listen and remember as my voice guides you. Now, imagine a ball of white light that starts at your feet as you breathe in and rises up to the top of your forehead as you breathe out. It moves down your spine, down your legs, and out your feet. Again, imagine this ball of white light rise up to the front of your body, to your forehead, as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, it goes down your spine, down your legs, out through your feet. Circulate this ball of energy around for a few moments and allow its circulation to move you into deeper relaxation and comfort. Each time you inhale and exhale, you may be surprised to find yourself twice as relaxed as you were a moment before. Twice as comfortable and twice as peaceful. For with each breath, every cell of your body becomes at ease as all the tension, tightness, pain and discomfort drifts away down your spine, down your legs and out through your feet and drifting way down, relaxed now. And just allowing your entire body to rest, to wonder and pause. As you go even deeper, all distractions just seem to disappear and your entire body is completely and totally relaxed as you drift. Even deeper down, with each and every outbreath, you feel a warm, wonderful sensation spreading all over your body. The feelings of comfort, sensations of all the most relaxed parts of your body begin to spread. And this marvelous, warm, wonderful feeling of relaxation spreads completely through your body. Gently warming and relaxing like the rings of the water spreading from a pebble thrown into a pond. Relaxation becoming deeper and deeper. And with every passing moment, this feeling of deep, tranquil and comforting relaxation becomes stronger. And your body knows and enjoys this wonderful sensation and this wonderful feeling now goes out beyond the confines of your physical body spreading out beyond the skin to form a protective shield around you and you can let this shield spread far far beyond the physical body and since this protective shield is your own creation you can do with it what you wish. You can use this shield any way you want to. The uses of this shield are limitless. It can act as a filter to filter out those negative feelings and let in those feelings of love and light. And this protective shield can be visible or invisible. And you can use this shield any way you choose 
And that's fine. Because this shield is your shield. You are using this shield and enjoying comfort in every part of your body. Practicing and using this shield and allowing it to spread and allowing it to go beyond the confines of your physical body. And you can experiment with it, making it as large as you like, any color you like, using it as a transport to another place or time. The more you use this shield, the stronger it becomes. You can return to this place of peace, tranquility and deep relaxation and use this shield anytime you desire to do so. And you are using this shield and feeling the relaxation spread to all the parts of your body. Now imagine a place it could be a place you already know. It could be an imaginary place. A place that makes you feel happy and loved. Let your imagination become reacquainted with every detail of this beautiful place. Sense the peaceful beauty all around you. Enjoy. Relax. As you relax in your favorite place, put a smile on your face and slowly look around. Somewhere nearby, someone is waiting for you, smiling and waiting for you to establish contact. This person may immediately approach you or they may wait a few moments. But even if you see nothing, you can sense their presence. Introduce yourself. Find out this person's name. The first name that comes to mind right now. This could be your guide. And ask your guide if they are willing to come over and talk with you for a few moments. Don't be surprised if your guide becomes quite excited at this point. Often, guides have been waiting a long time to make this kind of contact. Until now, your guide has only been able to talk to you sporadically through your intuition. Tell your guide you are sorry that you have not listened more in the past, that you will try to do better in the future. If you feel silly talking this way, tell your guide you feel silly. That it's hard for you to take this seriously. But if you sincerely want your guide's help, make that very, very clear. Tell your guide that you will understand, that like in any friendship, it takes time for feelings, mutual trust and respect to develop. Although your guides know everything about you, Tell your guide that you won't push for any simple answers to important questions that you may be dealing with. Rather, you would like to establish a continuing dialogue so that any time you need help with a problem, your guide can tell you things of great importance. Things that you may already know, but you may have underestimated their significance. If there is a problem that has been bothering you for a while, ask your guide if they are willing to help. Yes or no. 
Your guide's response is the first answer that pops into your mind. Pose your question as you breathe out. And the first response that comes into your mind as you breathe in is your guide's reply. Ask a question now. What did your guide say? Ask another question. Continue your dialogue for a few moments. And listening to the response that pops into your mind. Remember your guide knows everything about you, but sometimes for a very good reason, they will be unwilling to tell you something. This is usually because it is not the right time for you to know. When this occurs, ask your guide what you need to do in order to make this information available. Your guide will usually show you the way. If there is something you would like your guide to do, or think about between now and the next time you meet, tell this to your guide now. If there is anything your guide would like you to do or think about between now and the next time you meet. Find out what that is now. Set up a time to meet again, a time that is convenient for you and a time that is convenient for your guide. Be specific as to the exact time and place. Tell your guide that although these meetings are important to you, you may not find the time. You find it hard to concentrate, or for some reason you don't feel comfortable talking this way. One way your guide can help motivate you to continue to meet is by giving you a clear demonstration of the benefits you gain. A demonstration so powerful that you'll be moved to work even harder in getting to know your guide. Ask your guide for a sign of their presence. Notice any sights, sounds, feelings or smells. Ask your guide now. Notice anything different? If you're willing to do your share of the work by relaxing and meeting periodically, there is no limit to your guide's power. You might be, for example, somewhat forgetful, and although you want to continue these meetings with your guide, you might forget the exact time and place that you agreed to meet. If so, ask your guide to help you by coming into your consciousness just a few moments before if it is time to meet to remind you of the meeting. Before leaving, tell your guide you are open to having many different kinds of guides and you will leave this totally up to your guide's discretion. If your guide wishes to bring other guides along next time when you meet, See if your guide will allow you to establish physical contact. See if your guide will allow to make this contact now. Notice any tingling sensations, the feeling of cobwebs on your face, or any pressure on your body. Or you may even feel a slight breeze. While making this contact, 
Find out if there is anything else your guide would like to tell you. Is there anything you would like to ask your guide before you leave? If so, do it now. My voice will leave you now. So you can spend more quality time with your guide.
Now, you can slowly begin to become aware of yourself once again. Feeling relaxed, feeling refreshed, and feeling alert. Start by counting from one to five. When you reach the number five, you will be completely awake and feeling alert. One, beginning to awaken now, aware of your surroundings. Two, waking from the subconscious state feeling relaxed, bringing with you all that you have learned. Three, aware of your body now and the position of your arms and legs, feeling more refreshed. Four, stretch your arms now as you begin to open your eyes, feeling great and excited about your experience. Five, open your eyes and wide awake, feeling refreshed and alert.